is there. Thank you so much for coming. And you, you were just at a press conference that is related to Turkey as well. It was about Europe and Central Asia. What were the themes? What was talked in that press conference? Uh, the main theme was the economic outlook for the region um, in the context of uh, you know what's going on in Western Europe. Uh, and basically we see a uh, a bit of a, we're, we're talking about a three-speed world and we can say we see a little bit of a three-speed uh, world in our region as well uh, with those countries closest to the European Union uh, ex continuing to experience uh, low growth in particularly the Western Balkans also. Countries like Turkey in the middle experiencing more moderate growth and then countries to the east and Central Asia and, and uh, those with, with natural resources experiencing uh, faster growth. So that was the general context. The second uh, theme of the press conference was how this is reflecting on the labor market with particular concerns about very high rates of unemployment in the mm. Western Balkans. And there again, Turkey's story is a bit of an outlier in the sense that Turkey has created uh, over 4.5 million jobs since the crisis. And that's quite a unique achievement and was highlighted um, as such uh, in the press conference. So are you saying that the last uh, couple of reports that IMF has been putting out there about the growth, the global growth, and that they were downward revised, right. that did not affect Turkey at all? Or is it going to affect any emerging countries, including Turkey, if if and how? Well, I, think the, I think the IMF... Um, Outlook was referring to this coming year and they had down, revised downwards their projections largely because the last, the end of last year was worse than, than had been anticipated and that's true for Turkey as well. I mean we had been on the lower side of the forecast with our 2.9 percent growth for uh, 2012 at the beginning of last year. We didn't change that forecast but in the end it came at 2.2 so significantly lower and a lot of that was in the final quarter of the year where, where we saw very low levels of activity all across Europe and including in Turkey. And that's feeding into uh, the forecasts for uh, 2013 as a result of what we call the base effect. But we are optimistic that uh, Turkey will achieve a 4% uh, of GDP growth rate for 2013. We haven't changed our forecast in that regard. And the, the initial indicators from industrial production, et cetera, from the first couple of months of this year actually point in the direction of a recovery. Mm. So our deputy prime minister said the same thing, like you did, 4% growth will be sustained and they are going to be growth uh, oriented. Right. Um, but uh, yesterday, the World Bank president, uh, Kim, when he gave his opening uh, speech, he mm -hmm. said that uh, high growth income, I mean, high income countries like the United States and other European countries even were suffering from some uneven growth and also, uh, as you pointed, unemployment rates. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the middle income countries like Brazil, Turkey, there are some economic challenges what did he mean by that? Well, I think he was referring to the fact that we see in Brazil, we see in India, we see in Russia, and we see in Turkey uh, that growth has slowed down quite significantly. Um, now, there are cyclical reasons for that, which have to do with the fact that the world economy is struggling to come out of, um, of, the, of the crisis, although I think we're now looking in, uh, uh, in a positive mood into 2013. Uh, but there are also some structural reasons, and I think President Kim was referring to that when he said that middle-income countries have traditionally found it quite difficult to move from middle to high income. Sometimes this is called the middle-income trap, and really the way to get out of this is through structural reforms. It's by making your labor market more flexible, it's by having the most attractive climate for business that you can, uh, you know, that you can offer uh, competing for, for uh, foreign direct investment, uh, by investing heavily in education but also in infrastructure uh, to make sure that your economy has the assets that it needs to grow fast. Uh, Turkey is doing a lot of these things and so my own view is Turkey will make it into high income uh, but it is clearly a challenge. It doesn't happen automatically. I mean, it's not the case that, you know, going from 2,000 to 10,000 um, may be easier than going from 10,000 to 20,000. And, and that's what Turkey is now looking at. That's what Russia is now looking at. That's also what uh, uh, um, uh, yes. countries like Brazil are looking at. So, yes. so I think that's, that's a challenge that's shared across this group of countries. I, I think uh, President Kim was reminding them 
to continue with the reforms to make sure that they get that. Thank you so much for your valuable comments. I wish I had more time to ask you more, sure. but we have to cut it here. The country Thank director for much. Turkey, Martin Razer, was with us from World Bank. Thank you. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Ben teşekkür ederim.